Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm finally getting around to putting liquid metal on my Alienware X17. So I wanted to keep, give you a quick overview of what I found when I popped it open and looked at the thermal compound I had put on there for a few weeks uh, while it's trying to deal with the immense heat the 11980 puts off as well as give you a rundown of what I did to prep my computer for liquid metal, which ultimately ends up in this uh, nickel plating of the copper heat seek. So if you're just curious about that, check the notes. I'll have a link to just that data. Otherwise, you can stay tuned kind of for the full thing I noted as I was preparing my computer. So I uh, hope you enjoy. So we are back in here checking on the compound I put in there. And again, I think we're seeing massive thermal pump. It came out the exact same side that the Element 31 came out of. Checking over here, see some hard, see a little dried in the middle. It looks like I missed the edge. I don't know if I can focus that, cannot focus that closely. It looks like I missed the edge there, but my GPU is not having any temp issues. But here we see, that, I mean, it clearly, when I put it on, it was not outside, and it clearly turned the entire thing into liquid, pumped it right outside of it. Um, probably used a little too much. But it doesn't change the fact that it's like it is cooking that. Just the this processor just runs too fast. I think this is just a bad design for a laptop. The 1180 is just a smarter move. I wish I had gone with that when I have all these thermal problems. But we're gonna hope the liquid metal uh, solves that. So that will be what's up uh, next. All right. So I have cleaned up uh, the paste that was there. You saw how messy it was. I actually took the barrier off. Uh, right there because I actually found liquid metal underneath the barrier which I was like oh good that has seemed to have spread around uh, from the alcohol I used on the element 31 so you got to be careful I almost say you got to take this off and check it but be careful the gasket on the other side when it gets alcohol on it does start deteriorating really really fast but taking that off allowed me to do a better job of getting this clean and then I just put on some protection there uh, to prevent it if any liquid metal does leak just all around there all over uh, all the traces And then I've cleaned this up and also done those traces. I'm also going to use camper. I think it's called camper tape um, To kind of protect that as well kind of going to do both of them to give me uh, the best level of protection I can to keep the liquid metal from getting to anything important On the other side something I'm doing different here is um, I plan on nickel plating uh, the copper to allow it to better um, I don't think it's actually make a difference it when it shine or not you see here that I kind of did some uh, buffing to shine it up but the copper is like so soft that even after I shine it up and then clean it with a good scrubbing of alcohol it actually puts the scrape scratches right back in it even using um, a soft cloth I found that interesting copper is a really soft metal it's hard to get shiny and have it uh, stay shiny but that makes that's just you know pure copper is that way I guess so just kind of cleaning up the sections uh, that I will be attempting to nickel plate. Um, and I will jump back after um, we see that the, um, I forget what this stuff is called. But yeah, um, conform coating, conformal coating, silicon conformal uh, coating uh, dries hard enough to actually keep moving along. I actually put that on too soon. I let it dry for about an hour and then when I put it on, I realized I was actually kind of bonding with camper tape. So that's gonna be a really good seal on that side. But once that's all done hardening, I will move on to the next step. I'll give it 24 hours to definitely get hard. So, okay, thanks. Bye. All right, so we are fully sealed up with some additional tape on top. Uh, the GPU kind of surrounded it and went off the main uh, silicon onto the surrounding edge, kind of seal it because there's a crack there. I don't want it to fall into the crack if it does leak. I'm gonna make sure that's all down. I guess maybe I need to seal that a little bit better get a stickier tape may not just stick that material well but this is extra precautious when I uh, based on doing two levels of protection same thing over here on the CPU um, I did see some liquid metal come off and was sitting right about there before and that's about you know that was from the x31 that I cleaned off that had come off from underneath this I'm still gonna reapply this because I want that uh, barrier there though it's not been very useful I still would like some level of uh, protection so I will put that back on there when it's all done but um, I think this is pretty well sealed up um, I will move on I'm still waiting for stuff from Amazon it was supposed to be here yesterday but they lost the package so uh, once I get that I will continue on the next step of 
uh, doing the nickel plating, then adding liquid metal, sealing it up, and see what the numbers look like. All right. All right. So it appears that the nickel plating is a success. Um, I see here on the GPU side, I was able to successfully nickel plate it. You'll see in the corners, that's just where the seal in the corners were. It's a little goofy, but that center part is nice and shiny. You can kind of see that there's a lip there to see the general thickness of it. I've got a couple spots where there didn't seal there. I'm guessing that's just not doing a great job of cleaning it. You're only supposed to dip this into like acid or something to really, really get it cleaned, but you can't really do that. Don't want to mess with assets. I just did polishing and a lot of alcohol rubbing until that was all gone, but I'm very happy even with those small spots. Obviously, you're not going to see this. And there will be some liquid metal that will seep into those spots. I guess that one because the other two are outside of it. You see I've also scratched um, into the surface before I plated it at the size of the uh, GPU die and I did the same thing over here with the CPU die so I know exactly where to put the liquid metal when I'm putting on it. It's only that one spot there where you can see a little bit of um, copper still there. It's gonna it's gonna uh, seep into that but it's not going to seep into the copper like it would do um, if it was just all pure copper. So I'm hoping that nickel, like nickel plating you see on a lot of um, heat sinks is going to help it uh, kind of stop that and I won't have to refresh this as much as I would if it was uh, the liquid metal seeping the gallium. So, or uh, not the gallium, but the gallium seeping into the copper. So I'm setting up right now uh, to do the CPU. I set up the same way. Um, how to do this is effectively, uh, this is nickel plating tape. I got off of, I forget, I'll put a link at the bottom. <clears throat> I basically put it down in a square to make that spot. Uh, and then I have folded it up in, in the corners to make effectively a bowl. Um, to I, I, I tried this a couple times and this was not sealing and I found out what the secret to making a sealing is the same conforming uh, stuff I was using to seal up the, uh, the, to protect the circuit boards and the circuits from liquid metal. It's actually just a dot in the corner caused to kind of channel down into the cracks and then I just do it up each one of the edges. Clearly, it didn't interfere with the plating process. There's no chemical action. I let it, you know, harden um, with sufficient time so it didn't uh, react. And yeah, um, I have, I put one electrode on the plate underneath, another electrode on my, the, uh, this nickel rod on the other side, and just set it in there. I let it run, I believe, for, and I'll have to check the time exactly. I believe it was for an hour and 40 minutes. And I got, I think, a really good um, layer. Oops, the camera's off. A really good layer uh, on there. So I'm super excited about that. I think this uh, worked great. So I'll finish this up and then we'll have liquid metal uh, results at the end. All right, just a quick uh, rundown of it actually going and a little bit more of my setup. I talked how I use uh, this, cross, this plating tape to make a little bit of a cup. So that, that what it looks like. I think you can probably do this with any waterproof tape. I just went with this because it's meant for plating, so I know it wouldn't react, but I don't think a lot of stuff would react. Um, I am using four D batteries set up in parallel, so that way that it's using the 1.5 volts on this, the lower the volts, I guess, electroplating. The better is the first one I've done electroplating, so uh, I'm showing you kind of first time ever. It still works pretty great, so <clears throat> not overly complicated. Um, but running yeah, four D batteries. I didn't make my own solution because that would require a, a stronger power source. Now I gotta wash my hands, can't touch this bottle, but that's okay. Um, I got this off of Amazon, which is nickel plating. It's like 20 bucks. So instead of making your own and needing a more powerful source, because you usually need more more powerful source, it makes the solution faster and quicker. But this is clearly working well with just D volts. I'm not using anywhere near enough power. I'm sorry, 1.5 volts. I'm not using anywhere near enough power to actually hurt me. It's another thing, I didn't want to have a device and liquids and plugging it in there. <clears throat> I'm also sending this through, uh, both of these have heat chambers. I don't believe this will damage the heat chambers because only 1.5 volts I'm sending through it. I doubt there's any heat or reaction building up in there. I probably could do a, text, a check on the temperature to see if there's any reaction. But it's just sending the current right through there. I don't think that'll impact the heat chambers or the heat uh, pipes. Uh, DeBauer did one using the full heat pipes and everything and didn't do anything as far as I could tell, so I think we're fine there. Still the fans attached, but being that they're insulated and not actually touching anything, I don't think the current going through here, it's not even traveling through uh, the fans or not getting a ground or anything along those lines. So I think that is totally fine. So 
This is what it looks like. Um, I'm going to let this one run. Similarly, I did the last one for about an hour and 40 minutes to get that nice level of plating. And that's, uh, that's about it. All right. CPU side is done as well. I didn't get any dots on this one, so that's good. Uh, can't get that good, but you can see shiny. You do see some ridges in there. I, did, I tried moving the, the cathode around, so it, I think yeah, that was the name for it, around. So maybe I didn't get the swirls. I mean, it's clearly, you can see, it's like it looks like the path with the energy is traveling, but I don't think there's anything I do about that. It seemed to form no matter where I put it. Like, I never had one on this side, or didn't put it on this side, and it's still there. So I think it's just the path that the electric, uh, electricity was taking through it. So I don't think it's, I mean... You can see it here in the reflection, but it's not like there's huge ridges on the surface, and they're usually towards the edge, it's not the center. I'm hoping the liquid metal will fill the gaps, but uh, it's not like the copper was super smooth or anything uh, either, so I'm not too worried about that. But both of them plated, both of them, and that is on there. It's not like that's going to peel off or come off. That is now a part of the metal, so I'm pretty happy. I think that's going to be plenty thick enough to prevent the liquid metal from eating through and getting to the copper, so I should only have to do... Hopefully the initial one, and maybe you have to do some touch-ups because sometimes you got to do some touch-ups to get it to uh, to connect and make sure you don't have any cores that are are not getting liquid metal. So, but uh, wrapping this up, uh, this I think is a success. I will hopefully have good performance numbers afterwards. Thanks for watching. I hope this would be helpful uh, for anyone that may want to try this. Uh, I'm sorry I don't have any results for you number-wise. I just haven't had a chance to get around to actually applying the liquid metal, getting my computer back together, and testing out. I'm hoping to do it in the next few days, but I want to get this video out there uh, if folks are curious about possibly trying this out. So, again, thanks for, as always for watching, and I uh, will update shortly once I have some final numbers to show on the liquid metal results.